हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल ऑनलाइन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स कोर्स एंड एप्पल मैकबुक रिपेयर डॉट कॉम माय नेम इज दिलदार खान एंड आई एम एन इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ कैपेसिटर सो बी अटेंटिव एंड फॉलो इट केयरफुली थैंक यू इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी स्टडीड अबाउट द इंडक्टर नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द कैपेसिटर नाउ इन द इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू कवर कैपेसिटर the rating of the capacitor what what are the types of capacitor and the properties of the capacitor and with the most important thing what are the applications of the capacitor now let us start with the capacitor what is a capacitor a capacitor is an energy storage device which doesn't allow sudden change of voltage across it it means that if a voltage is is already existing across a capacitor and we try to change the voltage across the capacitor then instantly the voltage across the capacitor will not be changed so uh, by virtue of its property it doesn't allow any sudden change of voltage across it this is characterized by its property which is called capacitance and its symbol is c and its unit is farad practical units of uh, farad are or you can say capacitance are picofarad and millifarad one picofarad is 10 to the power minus 12 farad and one millifarad is 10 to the power minus 3 farad it's symbolic and practical views we can see these are the symbolic view of a capacitor this is represented like this or it can also be represented like this now this is the practical view of a capacitor and uh, in this practical view you can see the rating of the capacitor is given this is the voltage rating of a capacitor and this is the capacitance rating of the capacitor we will be discussing these ratings later on now we will study what are the rating of a capacitor and how a capacitor is rated first of all we will understand what do you mean by rating a rating is something associated with any thing which determines its capability to sustain its property up to a certain limit that if that limit crosses then it loses its property so as for example you can say if a bucket is of 2 liter of water and if you apply 3 liter of water in the bucket then that 1 liter will be wasted and only 2 liter can be stored in it and if you say it is a plastic or you can say example of a balloon in the balloon there is a certain limit of air that you can put inside the balloon if you exceed more air then that balloon will burst similar is the case with any device if it is determined or if it is described that its rating is this and if we apply more amount of say voltage or a current then that device will be destroyed that property or that uh, description is known as the rating of an equipment now in case of a capacitor there are two parameters which determines the rating of it these two parameters are voltage and capacitance now you can as you can see here uh, in this sample capacitor the capacitance voltage uh, the capacitance rating is also given and also the voltage rating is given here the capacitance rating is 4700 microfarad and the voltage rating is 25 volt the voltage rating what do you mean by voltage rating of a capacitor voltage rating of a capacitor means what is the maximum voltage that can be applied across the capacitor without the capacitor being damaged that is if you take the example of balloon in case of balloon how much air you can fill inside the balloon until it bursts so same is the case with the capacitor what voltage you can apply across the capacitor until it gets damaged there is one more rating of capacitor which is the capacitance rating capacitance rating is nothing but it is what is the maximum charge that can be stored by capacitor because as you as already discussed that capacitors capacitor is a charge storage device so what is what is the maximum charge that can be stored by a capacitor is determined by its capacitance so here we can see if we have capacitance and voltage rating given then how much charge it will store we can calculate using this formula that is q is charge and c into v is charge is stored in the capacitance and as i already explained you that this is uh, similar with the example of water tank if a water tank is of 500 liter and if you put 550 liter into it then that 50 liter is wasted so uh, that is the rating of the tank and similar is the rating of the capacitor now example uh, you you find the rating in this form written in the capacitors and also in this form 
so what do you mean by this notation this notation means you have to write 4 and a dot between 4 and 7 and this n represents the nanofarad this n represents nanofarad similarly in this case f is written so it is the rating in farad also how to determine which terminal is positive for a uh, capacitor and which terminal is negative the shorter terminal is negative terminal while the longer terminal is the positive terminal of a capacitor now we will move to the types of capacitor generally there are two types of capacitor first one is the electrolytic capacitor and the second one is the ceramic capacitor electrolytic capacitor are the capacitor which are polarized it means it has a fixed polarity one one terminal will be positive and the other terminal will be negative and it is generally used for dc voltage of supplies because one terminal is always positive so you have to apply positive terminal to that positive voltage to that and one terminal is always negative so we have to apply negative terminal to that similarly if and if we provide incorrect polarity it means if we provide positive voltage on negative terminal and negative voltage on positive terminal then there is chance that this capacitor may get damaged due to its insulator layer being damaged or it get breakdown so we have to be cautious while using electrolytic capacitor in this we have to supply correct polarity voltage across its terminals this is the practical example of electrolytic capacitor now we will be able to identify that it is electrolytic capacitor now moving on to the next type this one is the ceramic capacitor this is a non-polar capacitor this is a versatile capacitor where we can apply both the positive and the negative terminal voltages to any terminal irrespective of where we are connecting it and these are generally used in the circuit boards you can find it uh, in the tv boards or in the radio boards and there are several uh, capacitors of ceramic type used and uh, we, will, we will discuss uh, what are its application in the next slide now from the above from its property that it is a non-polar device it means there can be any polarity to any terminal so it can be inferred that it is more safer than electrolytic capacitor because in electrolytic capacitor you have to apply a particular voltage to a particular terminal while in case of this ceramic capacitor you have to you can apply any voltage at any terminal and now we will be discussing how we will determine the capacitance of a capacitor by seeing the rating given on the capacitor this is a uh, well illustrated diagram here you can see this is 104k written here and uh, this 10 you have to take it as a digit you have to take it as a figure 10 and the third term is first two terms are, are taken as the digit and this next term which is 4 is taken as the four zeros after the after these two digits and these combinedly represents the capacitance in picofarad and if it is here it is written k this represents the fourth term represents the tolerance of the capacitance here we can see you can see that if if in place of k it is written m then the tolerance will be 20 percent and similarly if it is j then it will be five percent but in this case it is k so k has 10 percent tolerance so this is the whole capacitance value of this capacitor and practical view of the ceramic type capacitor is like this you can generally find it in a circuit board now we will be discussing the most important part which is the application of a capacitor before whatever we study we should know where we have to use it and where it is being used then only we, we are able to uh, identify what we have studied so here we will study uh, the application of electrolytic capacitor these are used in DC power circuits because it has large capacitance and its all size is also large so we use it in DC sub power supply circuit here is a, one example of DC power supply circuit this is the input of DC power supply and this is the output of DC power supply you can see these are the electrolytic capacitor which are uh, used in the supply as you already know that there is this 230 volt power supply coming through this, this jack and this is a larger size capacitor this means more, more voltage is coming across this and this is a low lower size capacitor so it means low voltage is going through this transformer to the system so uh, we can identify where the electrolytic capacitors are used now we'll move on to the use and applications of ceramic capacitors these are the extended uh, use of electrolytic capacitor which we will be discussing in the next lecture or in the advanced lecture where i will discuss capacitor in more detail 
and with all the all its construction how a charge is stored what are the plates that are used and how we will identify that the capa given capacitor is faulty and how uh, the charge storage and charge charging charging happens in a capacitor we will discuss all this in the advanced lecture now where ceramic capacitors are used ceramic capacitors are used in the coupling and decoupling and bypass capacitors in in amplifiers because in amplifiers uh, there are two state of a capacitor in amplifier the capacitor will charge then it will discharge so either polarity of a capacitor is needed in case of the amplifier so there we cannot use electrolytic capacitor because electrolytic capacitor has a limitation of being used for a particular polarity while in case of ceramic capacitor it has uh, it is a versatile capacitor where we can apply any um, voltage supply to its terminals so we will use it in unpolarized behavior here you can see these are the ceramic capacitor which are used in the circuit boards now again ceramic capacitor as you know is uh, of lower size and lower voltage rating so we use in lower voltage applications also ceramic capacitor is used in ac applications because as it has no polarity concern so it is used for non polar nature applications also we use in it if we use it in filter circuits where we have to obtain dc from ac supply as you can see here if capacitor is applied here then if a uh, ac power is supplied then dc is removed from this supply how it is removed if we see the reactance of capacitor it is x equal to 1 upon 2 pi fc where f is frequency so if a high frequency supply is given then this whole terminal will be low so it will pass the high frequency supply to the output side while the low frequency supply will be filtered we will discuss all these uh, in uh, detailed in the advanced lecture so be updated with it i will be uploading the advanced lectures soon so follow these lectures it will be very helpful for all of you thank you for uh, listening it carefully and attentively please subscribe my channel online electronics course for latest lectures and do share